Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. So as long as you keep that in mind and you keep the consequences of, you know, hiking rates, because yes, we look at it, we try not to look at it as far as a, in, in a one-dimensional way. Hiking rates, yes, is, is can be great for a trade, but it also, um, you know, as far as appreciating a currency, but it also can have the effect of hurting the economy, as we know, right? And so that's the reason why, um, kind of moving on, I guess, to not necessarily the FMC, but the pound, right? So the pound, I've been saying to, you know, to I'm getting short on the pound for, for quite a few months now. And this was pretty much the reason why I was saying to short the pound, even in the face of them looking to, or them hiking rates, right? Because ultimately we saw on, you know, two days ago, the UK GDP falls for the second month of running stocks, you know, and pound stump as, as amid recession fears. Yeah. So this is what is happening in the UK. And so when you're looking at, you know, when we're looking at fundamental analysis and we're looking at, you know, hikes, it's not just, you know, our typical trade, which is generally, you know, something where we're like, okay, they're hiking rates. So I want to buy it. Right. We also have to understand the impact of the rates on the economy and how it will affect the economy. And if the economy is still growing at the same time that they're hiking rates, then that's like tick and tick. Right. Excellent. Brilliant. Smiley face. Problem is, is that if the, if the economy is not supporting those rate hikes and inflation is obviously still going higher. Right. So you have inflation, you have the interest rates and you have and you have the economy the you know the effect of, of 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 inflation and interest rates is having the effect of you know uh, contracting the economy that's where you're like hey that's a bit of a <laughs> you know what i mean we it's 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 gonna it's gonna have an effect right because then the central bank has to then do something what they what they're going to do is as far as continue to hike are they going to continue hiking or are they you know maybe pushing the the you know making the recession come sooner rather than later or are they going to ease off on you know uh, hiking rates are they instead of going maybe you know 50 basis points they might do 25 or they might do point you know uh, or, or 10 basis points for example but the, the point is we need to understand all scenarios. It's not just, oh, you know, I heard that when a central bank hikes rates that we need to buy. No, 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 no. Because all central banks are hiking, right? All central banks that we pretty much trade apart from the Bank of Japan, yeah, and the Swiss National Bank, right, SNB, right, are all, are all hiking rates. So then what is the difference between you know, between the, the central banks that are hiking rates. What, what is the difference? It's, it's how well the economy is doing, right? Right, well, hence the reason why you look at, um, you know, what the central bankers are saying and, you know, where, uh, you know, if there's any recession talk, um, or how soon potentially is the recession coming insofar as when you're comparing it to um, the uh, the other economies, right? So you're looking at, for example, euro dollar, right? Euro dollar. Now, out of the two, what would be your guess as to which economy is probably going to enter into a recession sooner? So if you had to be, a, if you were a betting boy, we are betting people, right? We speculate. What what economy do you think would enter into a recession sooner? Do you reckon it's going to be Europe or do you reckon it's going to be the US? Edwin says Europe. Anyone else have a have a have a guess? Uh, Edwin also says um, uh, what I worry is there is high risk of depression i'll read that question i'll read that um, afterwards that comment afterwards uh, edwin uh, daniel says us abdullah says us <laughs> okay alexandra says europe nurse says europe yeah um personally i'd have to disagree with daniel and abdullah i think europe are more likely to enter into a recession than the us of course we could be wrong but i i do believe 
yeah exactly edwin you know it's they're they're heavily affected by the war i get it and i, and I understand why people would think you know the us especially if um as the dollar is tends to be in a, in the media spotlight right so whenever you go on youtube or tiktok um no, 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 no. Sorry. Enter into a recession. Sorry, Abdullah. Yeah. Sorry. Apologies. I meant to make that. Maybe I didn't make that clear. But which economy is likely to go into a recession sooner? Yeah. And it would be Europe. Right. And as Edwin says, they've got a lot more problems. Right. Not only. I mean, OK, so if you let's let's compare the two. Right. And, we, and this is this is how I guess from a really kind of basic way of how you uh, really should do your fundamental analysis is is is, is just basically doing a, a straight comparison right so you're looking at inflation problems right they both got inflation problems okay cool now what about um you know uh, uh risk you know problems as far as um who is you know being affected more by you know supply chain problems the war etc it's probably going to be more europe right europe's going to be the one out of the two um you know is it is, is it more difficult as we've just kind of gone over you know for the european central bank to um to try and um i guess make interest rate hikes work across 19 economies remember the fed only have to deal with one right you, the European Central Bank have to deal with all 19. So who's got the more difficult problem? I would definitely say the, the, the Europe has, right? So from that perspective, and you start to compare the two, Europe, for me, look like the, the country that is the dog with the most fleas, right? We always want to focus on the dog with the least fleas, and the US is definitely one of those. One of the dogs with the most fleas, is going to be the European Central Bank. So in a straight fight, and that's the reason why you've seen Euro, the euro dollar just go like this, right? Where the euro is the stronger and the, and, and, the, uh, and Europe is the weaker one. 